हाय आई एम डॉक्टर अवंतिका त्रिपाठी ओरियन मैक्सिलो फेशियल सर्जन कोर्स मिंटो डेंटियम टुडे वी विल वॉक थ्रू द इंडिकेशंस एंड बेनिफिट्स ऑफ डेंटियम मल्टी यूनिट अबटमेंट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्क्रू अबटमेंट्स इन डेंटियम मल्टी यूनिट अबटमेंट्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स स्ट्रेट मल्टी यूनिट अबटमेंट एंड एंगल्ड मल्टी यूनिट अबटमेंट द एंगल्ड वंस आर अवेलेबल इन टू एंगल फिफ्टीन डिग्री एंड थर्टी डिग्री ईच एंगल हैज टू वेरियंट्स a hex variant and a non hex variant all these multi unit abutments are available in different diameters and different gingival height now i'll be demonstrating the placement of these multi unit abutments in this dummy model so i've already placed two dummy implants in this model one straight and one angulated so in the straight implant i'll be putting this straight multi unit abutment and in the angulated one i'll be putting a 30 degree angulated multi unit abutment before placing the abutments we need to ensure that the implants are well integrated in the bone and are free from any obstruction if healing abutments are placed we need to remove them using the hex driver and start placing the multi unit abutments choosing the right multi unit abutment depends on the angulation of implant and the prosthetic requirements straight multi unit abutments are used when the implants are well aligned whereas the angled multi unit abutments are used to correct the divergences of any implant a straight multi unit abutment comes with a delivery holder so i just have to pick up the delivery holder and insert the multi unit abutment inside the implant and turn it in a clockwise direction once i feel tightening then i will just remove the delivery holder After placement of the multi-unit abutment with the help of the delivery holder, it is fully tightened with the help of this adapter which is present in the prosthetic kit. So we'll put this adapter over the multi-unit abutment and we will put the torque ratchet over it and we will tighten it till the maximum torque of 35 ncm. For placement of multi-unit abutment over the angulated implant, we just have to pick a angulated multi unit abutment with the delivery holder we will stabilize it and position it over the implant and then we will put the screw over the multi unit abutment and we will tighten the screw completely After placement of the angled multi unit abutment with the help of the handheld hex driver we will fully tighten it with this torque ratchet driven prosthetic driver so we will insert this driver and we will put torque ratchet over it and we will give the torque of maximum 25 to 30 ncm If we are having any difficulty in working with the plastic delivery holder we can use this titanium delivery holder available in Dentium we can simply screw it over the top of the multi unit abutment and we will simply position it over the top of the implant and we will screw the screw of the multi unit abutment with the help of this hex driver after complete placement of the angled multi unit abutment we will remove the delivery holder by simply unscrewing it multi unit abutments have many advantages over the other abutment options so main indications for multi unit abutments are it can be used in all the full arch prosthetics it can be used when correction of implant angles is required and it can also be used when patients implants are placed at different positions and different depth so when there is a depth disparity then it is a preferred treatment option Multi unit abutments come with a series of advantages so we'll discuss them one by one Multi unit abutments can accommodate for height differences because they come in a selection of height profiles Low profile multi unit abutments are placed in those cases where the implant is placed slightly superficial to the level of bone whereas the high profile multi unit abutments are used in those cases where the implant is deeply placed inside the bone it provides more easy and predictable option for the final restoration due to the passive nature of the seating process of the multi unit abutments 
there are few disadvantages of using multi unit abutments first is that the screw holding the multi unit abutment is very small so if over torque it can fracture or there is a chance of loosening of screw as well the second is because of an additional abutment the cost of the prosthetics is slightly increased as the advantages of multi unit abutment overweigh the disadvantages so uh, multi unit abutment should always be chosen over the other abutment options in cases of full arch prosthetics in cases of angulated implants or in cases where the implants are placed at a different height in full mouth cases if we are using a regular abutment repeated connection and disconnection of the abutment can compromise the stability of healing in early as well as in the long term cases that's all about the rendium superline multi unit abutments if you found this video informative please like share and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video